Hi, this is Dale with Behind the Bench here at Iron World Berlin. This morning we heard from Dr. Daniel Trujillano of Centigene in Rostock, Germany. Daniel, thank you for a very interesting talk this morning. You Hello, were you. discussing some results that you had with the BRCA1 and 2 panel. Yeah, so I mean, we have had this validation study in 210 samples. Some of them had already previously sequenced with Sanger sequencing so that we could compare the genotypes from the NGSSA on the ion torrent with the Sanger results. And the match that we observed was very, very high of up to 99.9%. .9%. So the results were very, very, very interesting and very positive. Yeah, and it was only with 2000x coverage. So it was a very efficient sequencing. Still, yes. Correct? So we were using pools of 16 samples in one chip, in one 318 chip on the BGM. So. Yeah, and in the question and answers, there are some very specific questions around, what was it, Exxon 23 <laughs> of uh, BRCA2? And then you went back to your slides and showed. Yeah, I mean, so the good thing about having, the, having plotted the coverage of each of the exons for each of the amplicons is that allows you to visually identify those regions that may be more problematic in terms of sequence coverage, sequence quality. So it's clear that there are some regions that have lower coverage, but in general, the average overall coverage is sufficient for an accurate variant calling. Now, if I remember, Centigen is focusing on rare disease. Can you talk about that a little bit? Affecting, what, 350 million? Yeah, so I mean, when we talk about uh, rare diseases, we assume that it's affecting only a small proportion of the population. But when you add all these rare diseases together, we are talking about 350 million people worldwide. So as you can imagine, this is a big issue <laughs> that we need to try to give some genetic screening solutions. And then you mentioned uh, a database that your company had developed yeah. where so our database is CentoMD, which is one of our main products because, I mean, we understand that the only way that we will make, that we will be able to make sense out of all this variation that we can detect with the NGS is by having robust databases that allow us to assess the quality and also the clinical relevance of each of the variants that we detect. Yeah, and you had a graph there that showed basically 50% yeah. of your database was sort of publicly available, yeah. but the other 50% we're private. Yeah, so that's, that's yeah. the point. I mean, also, we put a lot of emphasis on the quality. So most of the variants that are reported as clinically relevant in other public databases, when you look at them, they are just polymorphisms or even sequencing artifacts. So we put a lot of emphasis in manually curate each of the variants to make sure that the quality of our database is as high as possible. And lastly, you mentioned you're a certified service provider for Life Technologies. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. So we were certified like two, three months ago for exome sequencing to be offered to the public, so yeah. since then we have been very successful and during the last year we have already sequenced thousands of uh, excellent. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Thank you for your Thank time you. this morning. Thank you. Well, continue to follow our activities here at Iron World at lifetechnologies.com forward slash behind the bench. If you have any questions for Dr. Trujillano, feel free to leave them in the comments.